The president of Zanzibar and chairman of the Revolutionary Council, Dr. Hussein Ali Mwini, has invited investors from East African Corporation and others in the world to invest in Zanzibar and Tanzania in general. Selme Mohammed has a report. Dr. Mwini said Zanzibar has many areas of investment, especially in blue economy through ocean and other areas of tourism of culture. Thus, people of East Africa and other countries in the world are welcoming for investment. From now on, Expo will play a vital role in engaging all the governments of member states of our community and the private sector in setting the vision and direction for tourism development. My government has devoted huge efforts to develop the blue economy. We are determined to make sustainable use of ocean resources for economic growth, improve livelihood and job creation while we preserve the, eco, the, the ocean ecosystem. Dr. Mwini insisted that despite the presence of COVID-19 calamity, more efforts are needed in order to increase the number of tourists by publicized tourism and its attractions in order to ensure that many tourists coming in East African countries. Deliberate and strategic efforts must be undertaken to increase the number of tourists who visit our region. Together, we need to tirelessly refine our national policies and devise new programs to deliver responsible, inclusive and sustainable tourism that will attract more visitors from all over the world. By doing so, we will be practically implementing the theme of this year's Expo, which is promotion of resilient tourism for inclusive socio-economic development. In the event, the Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism, Dr. Damas Dumbaru, said tourism sector in East African Cooperation has bring new outlook to the countries in the exhibition also take place next year in Burundi that big exhibitors of more than 100 tourist products from those six countries would be exhibited. Salmi Mohamed Ali of ZBC Nightline. The President of the United Republic of Tanzania, Her Excellency Samia Sulu Hassan, has said unless acts of corruption and misuse of public property becomes effectively controlled, the nation cannot make development steps towards a medium economy. Our reporter has a story. Speaking at a climax of making the Uhuru Torch race and commemoration of 22 years of the death of father of nation, Mwalim Julius Kambarage Nyerere, at Chato in Geta region, President Samia said corruption and misuse of public fund are the start of improper deals hampering nations' development and economy in general. Talking on the commemoration of the death of Malim Julius Nyerere, she said the government will continue to cherish all good things he had done for the interests of the people of Tanzania and the nation at large. She said Malimu's philosophy and vision through the Uhuru Torch race will continue to be the focus of the nation to combat all legal deeds in the country, including corruption, misuse of public property, and fight against illicit drugs. A total of 167 development projects were unveiled during the Uhuru Torch race in various regions of Tanzania, valuing 1.2 trillion shillings. The first vice president of Zanzibar, Honorable Osman Masood Osman, has instructed institutions supervising land resources in Zanzibar to sit together and plan a better program of digging stones without causing a big destruction of the environment. Our ZBC Nightland reporter has the details. Honorable Othman gave the instructions at Fumba in West District B on a special visit to inspect various areas with destruction of environment resulted by climate changes as well as human-resulted activities. He also asked the leadership of a company of Zanzibar, Metal of Zanzibar, dealing with the work of collecting, parking and transporting worn-out metals to be a precaution against collaborating with criminals, destroying the country's development infrastructures. <laughs> 
kuona ni kwa kiasi gani tunaweza kushirikiana we come here to look on how we can cooperate in various things related with the challenges of environment there are some areas that can cause accidents thus it is better if we have a special areas of digging stones it can be one two three or even four the minister of state office of the first vice president dr saidam kuya salum advised environmental stakeholders and entrepreneurs to have effective business plan that will help them to get loans from financial institutions you can evaluate your income and your business plan then you can go to the financial institutions including banks for applying loans in order to boost your activities this will be helpful to you and government in general because you'd have a potential contribution in our economic growth thus no doubt the capital for business could be available for his part the director general of environmental conservation authority zanzibar mr sheham jaja said various researches that have shown many areas destroyed in environment and the government has already prepared a long and short time plan to tackle environmental effects in zanzibar reporting for zbc nightline um buthaina haru the second vice president of Zanzibar, Honorable Hamid Suleiman Abdallah, has said the government would continue to prioritize and strengthen the mental health services. Here is the report. Speaking at the World Mental Health Day celebrations at Mapinduzi Square, Kisonge, Honorable Hamid said, in inspiring the situation, the government has already sent seven specialists to study various fields of mental health in and out of the country, including four specialists and three psychologists. He said the move has led to a partnership with development partners to increase service delivery at the community level, as well as the establishment of a special clinic to provide care for children with mental health problems. My call to people is to have a habit of going to the health centers, regional and referral hospitals, including Dongo Chekundo, once they get mental health problem in order to get a professional treatment. Our government has started to invest in mental health since 2000, and the Earth Phase government will continue prioritizing investment in mental health in order to have effective availability of mental health services. A statistics show that the mental health problem ranked 13 among the chronic diseases in the world. It estimated that out of four people, one can suffer mental health in the life. Honorable Hamid also instructed the leadership of the Ministry of Health to deal with complaints issued by the mental health officials about obstacles they face in providing services, including their allowances and work tools. For his part, the Zanzibar Mental Health Coordinator, Dr. Suleiman Abdul Ali, said the people with mental disorder still face stigmatization in the community, a situation that could affect the delivery of such services. The Mental Health Day is celebrated around the world in every October 10, where the motto for this year is Mental Health in an Unequal World. Jamila Thabit, ZBC. The Minister of State, Office of the President, Regional Administration, Local Governments and Special Departments of SMZ, Honorable Masood Ali Mohammed, has said the presence of Human Rights Commission and Good Governance will facilitate people to get awareness of fighting for their rights. Here is the report. Honorable Masood made the remarks in his talk with officials of human rights, commissions and good governance at his office, Vuga, in Zanzibar. He said, the government is optimistic that the society will benefit from the commission designed to solve people's problems related to human rights and good governance. The minister said, following a little understanding by people over human rights issues and good governance, he assured the officials that the government will enhance cooperation to enable the Commission to provide education and carry out its duties in Zanzibar more efficiently. This organ, the Commission of Human Rights and Good Governance, is one of the most important indications 
that Zanzibar has a great respect for human rights as well as good governance. Thus, I take this opportunity to welcome you, but also to say what you have written to us, that the goal is to reach to lower levels where world leaders are and in other places where human rights preaching begins. Na kwingine kote, ambako mahubiri ya haki za binadamu ya naanzia, hule. Meanwhile, Chairman of Human Rights Commission and Good Governance in Tanzania, retired Judge Matthew Power said, times has come for reaching areas residing people and listening problems they are facing. The intention of our visit is that we have been citing and reading various information of human rights, especially on the area of humiliation. Reporting for ZBC Nightline, I'm with Aina Haru. The revolutionary government of Zanzibar intends to continue with the construction of the district hospitals in order to remove inconveniences of health services to the people. The report follows. Inspecting the area of construction of the district hospital, the director from the Ministry of Health, Dr. Amor Suleiman Mohammed, said the move aimed at enhancing health services to the people and minimizing the number of patients at Mnazimoja Hospital. We thank the Earth Phase government for its decision of constructing the district hospitals. This would help minimize the number of patients at our Mnazimoja Referral Hospital. The government has allocated the money for construction of hospitals in various districts. The Director of Town and Village Planning Department, Mr. Muchi Juma Mer, advised the government to build a big hospital in the area in order to go parallel with the need of the people of the area. Area has met the needed qualifications for the construction of the hospital, but we advise the government to be the apartment in order to go parallel with the current and future needs. For the apart leaders of the constituency, pray the government for its decision and pledge to cooperate in order to simplify the construction of the hospital. We, as the leaders of this constituency, we are ready to cooperate with the government for anything or help needed from us. This hospital that is expected to be the district hospital would benefit our Chumboni constituency and the people here would get big chance than that of the current area. The construction of the district hospital Chumboni constituency is expected to start soon whereby several services including mother, children and emergency services will be provided. Salma Muhammad Ali of ZBC Nightline. Before we end the news, let's take a look at the main headlines.